Okay, good morning class. Our subject today is MAPE and one of the components of MAPE that we are going to discuss today is arts. We are now here in quarter 2, week 2. So the most essential learning competencies that we are going to discuss today are the following. The first one is it reviews the concept that art processes, elements, and principles is still apply even with the use of technologies. Explains the elements and principles applied in digital art. Applies concepts on the use of the software. Commands, menu, and etc. Utilizes art skills using technologies, hardware, and software, and digital painting. So, here are the topics that we are going to discuss also today, <clears throat> which are the following. We have concept of art, in the use of technology, elements and principles of digital arts, art concepts in the use of software application, digital art practices skills, and developing digital painting. So now let us proceed again. Here are the following objectives that we are going to discuss today and you should learn in this day. So, in number one, we have reviewed that concept, the art processes, elements, and principles still apply even with the use of technologies. Number two, explain the elements and principles applied in digital art. Number three, applies concepts on the use of the software. Number four, utilizes art skills using technologies, both hardware and software, in digital painting. So based on our objective today class, it is all about the using technologies in creating an art. So there are the elements and principles that are applied in digital art. So now let's proceed. Let us first have a looking back to our lesson. So here is the di here are the directions. Say the word yes if the icon or symbol is a software and say no if it is not. Okay, so I'm going to show you some icon and symbol or a thing and then you have to identify if it is a software. You're going to say yes if it is a software and you will say no if it is not. Okay, so let's begin. So what kind of icon is this? Okay. Yes, very good. That is Mozilla Firefox. And Mozilla Firefox is a software or not? Yes, of course. It is a software. The next picture. What do you call this? Okay, very good. And that is Google Chrome. Is Google Chrome a software or not? Is it yes or no? Very good. That is yes. The next picture. Yes, this is an iPhone 13. Okay. So, is the iPhone 13 software or not? Is it yes or no? Very good. That is no. It is not a software. But it is a type of, or one of the type of a hardware. Okay. Next, in the fourth picture, we have, what do you call this? Okay, very good. That is Photoshop. Is a Photoshop a software or not? Is it yes or no? Very good. That is, yes, of course, Photoshop is a software. And the last picture, or the icon is, what do you call this? Okay, so this is a drawing pen, or a drawing tablet. Okay, is a drawing tablet a software or not? Is it yes or no? Okay, very good. That is no because the drawing pen tablet is a hardware and it is not a software. Very good, guys. 
Now, let us have an introduction of our lesson today. Have you ever created a drawing or a painting on the computer? If so, you were making digital art. So if you have already experience on how to create a drawing or a painting on the computer, you were exactly you were exactly making a digital art. And this is an example of a digital art. So as you can see here, so the gadget uh, used in the picture or using in creating a digital art is a pen tablet or is a drawing pen tablet. Okay, so in this part you can uh, create a drawing. You can create a painting using technology and this is what they call the digital art. Some artists use materials like paints and brushes to create art. And But today, many others also use modern means of exploring creativity like tablet and computers. This type of art is called digital art. Okay, so it's like what I've said before that the technologies that we are now using today or that we are using nowadays uh, such as computer, tablet, and any uh, gadgets that can be used for drawing or painting. And that is what we call, and the type of art is called digital art. So, for more information about the digital art, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so handmade drawing or painting and digital drawing and or painting are both using the same art processes like drawing wherein we use computer, stylus pen, and tablet instead of paper and pencil in painting and printmaking. So here are some of the gadgets or the devices and the technologies that we are using in creating digital drawing and painting. In a handmade drawing, it is also the same. Uh, they have the same art processes uh, in drawing in the computer. Okay, so, but in the computer, we are using a technology like stylus pen and tablet instead of paper and pencil. So in paper and pencil, that is a handmade drawing. While that in computer or the technologies that I have to, told to you a while ago, my computer stylus pen and tablet are some of the uh, latest technologies that we're using as of now, as of using nowadays in creating a digital art. So as you can see here, this is now the uh, modern technologies that we are using today in creating a drawing or painting also known as digital art okay so even with the use of technologies different elements of arts can still be used like lines shapes colors and textures to create beautiful images and paintings principles of arts like harmony balance rhythm and patterns are also appreciated in creating digital art so here are some examples of digital arts. So as you can see here, based on the based on the picture there, that the uh, elements of arts were used in this uh, art, like uh, lines, shapes, colors, and textures, in order to create beautiful images. Okay. So, the principles of arts like harmony, balance, rhythm, and patterns are also appreciated in creating digital art. So, this picture is an example. Uh, these pictures are some examples of digital art. So, let us talk about what is a pixel. In our previous lesson, we have, all, we have already discussed, discussed about the pixel. So what is a pixel? A pixel is the basic unit of computer graphics. It is made up of only one shape, a square, and one specific color. 
combining all pixels can create powerful images of art and even film. If you don't have computer or tablet, you can still create a simple digital art concept through pixel art. So here are some examples of a pixel art. So as you can see here, in order to create an image or an object, it uses only one shape, specifically the square, and it has a one specific color. Okay, as you can see here we have a Super Mario there and the and the uh, in love emoji. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I'm gonna show you some example of how can a digital uh, create a drawing from a uh, real person, thing, or object, or animals. So, I have given you now uh, an example that I uh, had created or that I had drawn in using uh, a digital app. So, I'm using Medibam Paint Pro. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. So, this is my picture. And I made this into this. Okay. So, I was using the, I was using Medibam Paint Pro as the uh, drawing up tool in making this. Okay. Later on, I'm gonna show you how to use that. And then later on, I'm gonna show you how to use the that app which is the Medibank Paint Pro in order for you to make your own design and then your own drawing. And that is an example of a digital art. Okay. So this is my this is me. <laughs> this is me anyway. And this is the drawing me. <laughs> okay, so the other one, I'm gonna show you some example again. Yeah. And that is my partner. As you can see here, we, we, we were here in Enchanted Kingdom. Okay, that was uh, two years ago. And then I created a drawing about ourselves only, but not the background. No, I just like this. Okay. see the difference don't mention about the background guys okay. so now let's talk about the activity or the activities that you are going to answer or that you are going to do to your learning modules so we are here in we are now here in activity one so the materials needed in this activity are computer or laptop, MS Word, or PowerPoint. Let's start to create a simple digital drawing using different art elements in MS Word. So sample works. So on this uh, object. So here, here is the procedure. Number one, think of a simple image you can create using different lines and shape. Open a new MS Word near computer. Click the tab Insert on the upper left side of the computer. Click Shapes and click the shapes you need to form an image that you want. Number 5. Once you completed the image, you can fill it with colors. Just click the tab Format, click Shape, Fill, and choose the color you want. Okay, so in this procedure, you have to use the Microsoft Word. But in this part, I have already done doing this with the use of PowerPoint. So I'm gonna show you this example exactly like this. Okay, so let's proceed to the next slide. Yeah, this one. Alright, as you can see here, there's a uh, mug and a, a, uh, and a heart symbol in a mug and then a pizza. So you can use 
MS Word or PowerPoint, but according to the procedure, you have to follow it. So, you have to use Microsoft Word. Okay, so later on, I'm gonna show you how to use or how to create this digital art using Microsoft Word. Okay, let's proceed to the next activity that you are going to do today. Okay, so we have here the direction. Add the number in each box to get the sum and its corresponding color below to fill each box. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this to you, class. So we have here the key. We have here the keys, right? So you all you need to do is to answer all of the or, or find the sum. Find the sum of each and here are the keys. For example, if your answer is 1, 2, or 3, you will color the square black. If the answer to addition is 4, 5, or 6, you will color the, the square as a light green color. But if the answer is 7, 8, or 9, you will color the square as dark green. And if the answer to addition is 10, you're gonna color this blue. And then take note, blank squares are white. Okay? So for example here, at the top left in the in this part so we have 0 plus 10 so we have 10 so you you have to color it blue next one 8 plus 2 is also 10 you have to color it blue 2 plus 8 equals 10 so you have to color it blue so we have 3 plus 7 you have to color it blue so on and so forth okay all right so this is now the activity 2 so, identify the following pictures are digital painting. Okay, so according to this, I put a happy face if the picture is digitally made and a sad face if the picture is traditionally done. Okay. So, you are going to identify if the following pictures are digital painting. Again, you have to put a smiley face here if the picture is digital painting okay but if it is not you're going to write or you're going to draw a sad face okay so these are the activities that you are going to do okay so this is not the end of my presentation because I'm gonna show you how to create a drawing using a Medibank paint pro. Okay, so